We have a lot of rocky movement in Japanese yen and Nikkei index because of Japan election. So Ishiba finally won the election, right? He lost to Shinji Abe. Um, well, you know, initially the Nikkei went up, but then it plunged. Okay, so why was that so? Because he said that he must ensure exit from deflation, whatever that means, right? In this video, I'm more interested to talk about what happened yesterday. That means to take a look at the Nikkei chart and then look from the trading point and how we can use, you know, what we see from the chart to make money rather than to lose money. Okay, so I'm just going to take you through step by step here. So this was what happened yesterday to Nikkei 225. I mean, you would draw things like a horizontal line because that's the resistance and you might also draw another horizontal line so these would be the two resistance here which are obvious right and what happened to price price closed above the resistance level so a lot of traders could be doing a breakout but if you put on the other hat right to look at the breakout level think in terms of if this is a high which is 10 we just put a, a like a, a virtual value here and if this is one then if you are buying near here then you're buying for, for example at 11 or maybe 11.5 then you're buying at high price relative to 10 Okay, the other way to look at it is that if you see these as 10 and then you see this as 1, if you are buying around here, all right, then you are buying probably near to the region of 7. Okay, so 7 is still considered high. Okay, now I'm not saying that you will uh, avoid uh, buying on the wrong area, but it's just that buying near a breakout can sometimes be very dangerous, especially especially when algos can see all these levels very clearly. So one way to avoid this is sometimes we have to trade on the breakout, but you know to have an idea that there can be a fake breakout, and this is what Wall Street means is all about. So one simple solution that you can do is that you know um, you can draw like a horizontal line above the previous high. Okay, so this would be the horizontal line that's above the previous high, and I call this a wash line, and I usually mark this with a green line if it's a potential bearish movement. Now, what wash I means is about is that people are buying at this candle here, right? Because they see that the current candle as compared to the previous candle, that means that candle number two as compared to number one, moved higher. So they are willing to trade higher. Okay. However, if you look at those who bought around this candle here, they will be looking very sad if price is to move back down. Okay, so that means that if price is to head back down, then I call this a wash. And if price head back down, it becomes a rinse, right? Whoever who bought near to the high point here would be wash and rinse. They will be at a loss because then they bought at the high. And right now they are seeing that price is actually dropping below the motivation point of why initially they bought into the trade. Well, one way to know is that if price continue to move higher, all right, then it won't be closing below this wash line here and there won't be any trigger for us to go short because end of the day, we want to look for price rejection. We want to see that prices is heading back into this wash line here so that we can take a shot. All right. So if we were to take a shot, let's say for example, if price is to head below and if we are to take a shot, then this would become our risk. That means that any price that's above this high level here would render this shot wrong. Okay, but you look at the uh, amount of space underneath, that is the minimum, which is potentially our profit target. Okay, so let's play back a little bit on what happened. You can see that yes, the price moved, you know, a huge, huge movement. Okay, so this is a day chart here. Um, the day hasn't closed yet for this particular candle, but you see how price reacted so much nicely to the wash line. That means they are, the traders are monitoring this wash line here. They are waiting to see whether price can ultimately close below or still maintain above, right? Uh, end of the day, we are also observing because wash and means allows us to observe a little bit and to understand the dynamic of traders by understanding their actions okay what actions are we trying to analyze whether they are sad or happy from a move right now 
Okay. I mean, for those who bought in yesterday at this point here, at this point here, at this point here, or at this point here, definitely when they see this huge down candle here, they are not very happy. All right. But, you know, uh, there could be people who are still buying inside here at this region here. So there is a need for price to close below in order to say that the whole chunk of traders here, they've been washed and rinsed. And that's how we can add in our shop. These are trades which are done by myself or my students using the Alien Wash strategy. Join our community and take advantage of our six times a week training lessons, automated trade signals, and live trading sessions with our experienced alien traders. And for a limited time, we are offering a 100% full cashback offer on our course fee. That's right, you can learn our strategy risk free. Over 1,000 students have already taken advantage of this offer and seen success. Visit this website now to learn more and join our community.